What's up, family? It's Michael Bazin. I need you to answer a question for me. In fact, I need you to finish the sentence and write your comments underneath this video. I should have known he or she was a narcissist when what? And your answer should be, I should have known they were a narcissist when they were never wrong, when they never took responsibility, when it was always somebody else's fault, and when they always deflect. Is it just me or is there an epidemic of narcissism? Now, 90% of the women I've dated have dated a narcissist. And yes, women are narcissists too. That's right, I said it. But we seem to have a real issue with narcissism out here. And I write about it in my new book, Don't Lie to Me, in a chapter called Damage by a Narcissist. I, In fact, I put a post up at the top of my page. I need you all to respond to that. But write your responses underneath this video as well. When I wrote the book, Don't Lie to Me, uh, I told your stories about the experiences you all were having with narcissists. This is what Holly had to say about dating a narcissist. She said, he broke me up. He broke up with me in the hospital when I was rushed to the hospital after my water broke. I was losing both our twins. He was upset because my water ruptured at 19 weeks. He dropped off my 10-year-old son at the hospital and told me I needed to have someone pick him up. The nearest family was five hours away. All because the stress of me losing our babies was too much for him to deal with. Crazy, deranged. And then Shonda says, got my windows busted out and had to save this MF life. <laughs> Jumped out of a tree onto my windshield while I was bringing my daughter home from preschool. And then there was a time when I came up out of the pool and this MF was standing at the top looking down at me crying. Should I go on? Should I keep going? No, you don't have to go on. You have definitely said enough. Please check out the book, family. We, we tell a lot of stories, your stories, about what you all have dealt with with these narcissists. What I need people to understand about narcissism and what I learned while writing this book and, and doing podcasts on it is that you can't save them. You can't love narcissism out of someone. It's a personality disorder. And many men and women have spent years, decades, hoping the person would change and usually it only gets worse. Let me read this last excerpt. Please, everyone, heed those red flags and set that bar high. Listen to advice of well-meaning family and friends. They see what you are oblivious to because you are under their spell. Educate yourself by reading books and watching videos about narcissistic behavior like I did. It will help you from being drawn into their web. But if you do fall into their trap, run immediately because if you don't, you will be in for the scariest ride of your life. Family, please check out more stories about experiences women and men have had with narcissists. It's a real problem. Check out more videos on my new page on YouTube, Mingle City. Thank you all for being a part of my family and making me a part of yours. Take care, family. I'm out.